Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Kirkcubri uh, Food Festival 2018. We're delighted to see you here. Uh, we're equally delighted to have Mr. Tom Kirkpatrick, a wheel kind face in Kirkcubri. Had Kirkpatrick's wrestling for many years. Uh, he's done other things since then, including uh, running a business with his wife, Kirkpatrick's Kitchen. And to a reasonably, well, I think it's reasonably healthy dish. I'm going to use a bit of mackerel. Uh, I'm going to do it with the salad. I'm obsessed with faulty tellers, that's why I did all my catering training was with faulty tellers. Because they actually used to use it as a training when was at college. Why? Right. They say, anything he does, do the complete opposite, <laughs> and then you'll be almost right. But in the, one of the best episodes of doing is I think it's called Waldorf Salad, but with the American guy. So technically, I'm going to do Waldorf Salad, right. all the macro, food bits and pieces with apple, and do a nice fresh dressing. Basically, to stress how good like the, the macro is as well, and it's a very good dip. And they used fish, I think. I mean, take a few seconds, literally. This is my one of these dishes that people say, oh, no, you do that. No, this is a, it's as healthy a dish as you're going to get. And as you can see from me, I'm a, I'm a real health kit. <laughs> Avoid anything that's. I uh, hate it when people, especially when you order a sandwich and they go, Would you like that invite your brain? Come on, come on. I'm ordering a sandwich here. And you want me to put the room and eat it off? Oh, no. <laughs> Especially when they say, oh, it's got uh, suction, 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 it's got seeds and you are great. <laughs> that's really, that's really made me change my mind for this. One Waldorf salad. Now, come on, Forty Teller fans, what's an Waldorf salad? Because the American keeps going, no, it's not, it's got ba, 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 ba. So what's in it? Seriously, just gives it a completely different taste altogether. 
never promised you, do you want to sing more? Never promised you macaroon. <laughs> That's a bit junk you know, for simple minds. Or as I used to call them, the poor man's U2. <laughs> You're really too happy with that, but hey, well, I brought my guitar if I'd known you wanted to sing along. I tell you, some good singers in this crowd, I can see them. They're all dying to burst forth. Some of them want to sing as well. We'll use a little bit of cucumber. Now, pet hate number one for me, that's been for years. People serving cucumber, they're flying skin on it. That's how long it takes to skin a cucumber. So, and the fact is that uh, as most medic, medical people tell, possibly, that the skin on the cucumber is almost, you know how people always say, I've got indigestion, eat salad, that nine times out of ten it's going to be the cucumber because the skin is on, it takes such a long time to break down, it, it shouldn't be there. And the people say, it's for the colour. It's green. No. What I'm going to do with this, I'm going to make some ribbons. And again, you can buy these fancy ribbons, a cucumber, I'll do that, for a bit of garnish, a peeler, in this case a battered old peeler, use that as a base for, my, for the set piece for my salad. We'll put this in here, put a bit of a dressing on that, put the tomatoes, so it's a bit of celery and the grapes, and the apple. Okay, big woman, she says, I hope you're not wrapping that in blue paper. I said, of course I'm wrapping it in blue paper. She said, stick to the fish. I said, no. <laughs> so now, so I want you as a witness to say that mackerel didn't <laughs> stick in that blue paper. <laughs> my son Mark, he's, my son Mark he's, an, he's an executive chef. We passed the story up at Dave Gogerman. And they use, apparently the thing that chefs use now for drying everything are J cloths. If you've got a J cloth for fish, anything, J cloths are part of the thing. Right, macro. What I'm going to do with the macro is I'm just going to tidy it up slightly. I wouldn't normally use the bits because what you're trying to do is get an even, a fairly even bit of fish here. And again, because it takes so long, if you've got the rest of the salad and everything done, literally come in. Now, as I said before, macro is one of the most underrated fish uh, that's going. I said most people don't use them or they don't like for whatever. I don't know what it is, because they've got the, I think they've got the thing of being a scavenger fish. They've got a bad reputation. They yeah. have very much. For some reason, yeah. Yeah. Show me a fish that isn't a scavenger. Well, that's it, that's the whole point, isn't it? Right. Uh, what, what, I've done in the back, what I've done in the back there is I've just made some little indentations in the back, so it'll cook quicker and it'll get through. You can do this with any fish, actually, but it just helps it cook. I actually watch, watching the great British chef, uh, British menu, and they were actually doing uh, what they did was uh, you blow toast it. That's all he did with it. He actually, I thought, he done a, a, a macro tartare, which is fine, which is lovely, but then he blow torched it to cook it. I'm thinking, oh, I wish I had thought of that. <laughs> but I wish I was selling blow torches. <laughs> <laughs> right, what I'm doing here is just me. What you can do here is there's a little blood thing in the centre as well, and there's, there's any bones. I said, I think, oh, it, is, will there be bones in that? I said, it's fish. Yeah. I can't, the, the only fish I would get almost guarantee that you're not going to get bones in is a one fish. Mm -hmm. You know, little ones because it's the way it is. But any other way, you're cooking with gas, as they say. You've got every gas in the building. You're not paying for I'll pay my taxes. I'll pay my goods for tax. I'm paying for this. <laughs> the apples. The reason I've sliced them like that is when you do these lovely little matchsticks. The colour of both ends. See? So it's just it's just something, it's just a, and people say, oh I can't no. Just cut them differently. Instead of cutting them that way, and then you then just cut them. So you've got, as I say, a bit of green and a bit of red. Unfortunately, in my, through my life, I've tried to get a few blue things at the menu, but unfortunately, there's not many things that you can make that are blue. So, micro. Get the blue torches ready. There you go. That's 
start. So that must have been less than a minute from... Literally, yeah. From, yeah. And as I say, and they're prepared fillets, and the reason I've used prepared fillets is to prove that, you know, by getting, if you're getting a whole macro, you've got to fill it yourself. Most people can't. I mean, how can you fill But the fact that you can get them uh -huh. ready to go, yeah. and very, very little cooking as well. This is very warm. What I'm going to do is put this out, put the little leaves. I will tidy the mess up, I promise. Is it Tony's on next today? It's Tony's on next. Uh, I'll leave the mess in this week. He's, <laughs> he's used to that. Well, Tony will not tidy. In fact, my son Malcolm, who's now, as I say, executive chef at Cogoburn, uh, as part of his training, he, he, he worked at um, Turnberry and Glen Eagles. Uh -huh. And he also worked with Tony at the front doors. So right. he's known Tony. He's known Tony a long time. And the trouble is he's picked up too many habits. My son got Tony. Tony's <laughs> got enough bad habits as it is with him. And, uh, so put my cucumber ribbons in the centre. Put my leaves out like that. I'm going to put my tomatoes on. These are the ones again done in a little bit of vanilla and a bit of dress it. Maybe not getting overly chefy. But sometimes it's nice just to even when I'm doing it doing food in the house, I like to see not presented properly, but this people throw food on a plate just yeah. doesn't you know, it's not showing any respect and I hate young chefs that uh, that don't do that. They show no respect to the food, you know what I mean? The people that have actually grown it and done it the bits and pieces. So I've got that on. Apples. I was going to put celery in it, but I thought, nobody eats celery. Who eats celery? <laughs> and the, water, the thing I couldn't not put in was the walnuts. Of course. <laughs> and I just think this is a good... I know people say it's not... So, no, this is a, a nice little dish at any time. You know what I mean? It doesn't need to be so much. So I have to give... If anybody wants to try it, if anybody's mad enough to want to try these, I will give you the, the fact that, A, obviously we're in a... The whole, but the only thing I can guarantee you is that the quality of the ingredients we're using is the best that we could use. So, that's it, that's ready. I'll put the dressing on, finish off with this with a little bit of the dressing on it. Cucumber in the centre. Stripes on as well, it just gives it a nice little, just gives it a, it looks as if it's striped. Well, it is, it's also known, macro is also known as a zebra fish in certain parts. Obviously, it, don't get, it could be, but in certain parts, <laughs> it, in certain parts it is. I'm going to finish up just with a little, I'm going to add a little bit of a side just around the side of that. I'm just finish off the top of this with a bit of lime. Somebody was asked, one of the chefs was asked why he did that, he said because I can. <laughs> Which is got to be the best answer for anything. So there we have a nice little salad. Just a walled off, if you like, with the apples. You can add a little bit of sliced celery to that. Uh, and the grapes, are all, but I don't think grapes should be. Grapes should be served or made into wine. End of story. As far as I'm concerned. Okay, and then there we have. Ladies and gentlemen, drum roll, drum roll. <laughs> so again, we've got a nice little macro salad.